Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Waystro and thank you hey. for joining me. Hello Teresa. Hello Milopeshek. Today we continue in Kingdom Come's glorious game. Or you know, War Horses glorious game of Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So today we are going to Erkenstein to see Sir Redzig, which is here somewhere in the clouds. And I have looked over our stats and perks and whatnot, and I've, I've decided that we shall take uh, Insomnia. Increases the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly at our main level perk system, so we will learn that. And when we go to level 6, we will take Burger, so we get some speech and strength and agility in nearby towns. We'll also do Strength at Stronghold. Blocking an opponent's strikes with your shield will cost you 30% less stamina. That's real good. We have one more, and that's Speech, and that is Picking of Highborn or Lowborn, and we want us Henry to be a good diplomat, so it might be more worth to take Highborn so you can persuade local nobles and I think that's a good pick, so we will pick Highborn. That's good. Got Stronghold, Highborn, and Insomnia. Insomniac. We are a little bit hungry, but not much. So we can fill it up, because we are quite near our home. Eat from but Now we are good to go. At episode 2, I said that we perhaps could reclaim the horse that we took from Talmberg Castle that we left in this village just before it went to the cutscene and we arrived at Rovna. So I will fast travel to Talmberg and see if we can get our horse back. That would be quite handy in this early stage actually. We have arrived at Talmberg now. That is good. It is night. Yeah. How much is... Oh, I'm done. I have a bed here. It is nine. All right, hey. We are sixty-five at energy nourishment, sixty-seven. I think we can go there pretty quickly and return back to Ratai. Yeah, we will do that. Can we put some marker? Yes, and. A good marker isn't there. Let's go there. Should be able to maybe. <laughs> Can we go straight here? Then? It's really dark. But yeah, let's see if we get our horse back. I will not bore you with this wandering around in the dark. What is that? Is that a ghost? That's scary. Who are you? Then uh, can we talk to you? No? Alright. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will not bore you with this night walk. So, we'll cut back and see if we can find our horsey. I think that is our horsey, actually. We left. Ah, that is our horse. There's no stealing or anything. Great! That worked. Good. <laughs> oh, good. So, now we will. Let's travel back to Ratai. And we are back home. At the mill. And we... Hitch her to a post here somewhere. I don't want her to be out in the rain. So just put her in the stable then for now. Good horsey. You waited a 
two, three weeks? Yeah, two and a half maybe. Oh damn it. <laughs> Can you move just a little bit? That's right. Teresa, what are you doing up at this hour? Hey! Hey, why did you shut the door on me? I want to sleep as well, you know. Actually, yeah, might as well sleep to dawn. Let's fill up on energy, actually. So start sleeping. And it's a new, fresh, beautiful morning. And we are hungry, so eat. Oh, can't we eat? Teresa, can you make something? I want pancakes. Is it because we ate earlier? Maybe. Oh, all right. Perhaps we must go to the inn and eat. Yeah, we will take our horsey. She got some special garage for our by herself and some hay. I think that's a pretty good setup for her. And we will go to A. How much actually did we pay for our debt to the miller? We had almost 150 groschen, so about 50 groschen. That's pretty good. We had about 100 left. We will get some while we sell the stuff we don't need. Let's go to Pirkenstein Castle. She's this way. Right, yeah. Man, now the game is really beginning. That way. I'll talk to you. Got you belly ache, have you? That's nasty. Um, how are you? Good day to you. What do you need? Fight for coin. Or are you a, a mercenary? Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know. I didn't say want, anything, Henry. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? No, I don't want to do this now. <laughs> How about Rathai? Well, maybe we will do that later, but for now we need to. I feel quite to... hungry. Yes, you are hungry. We will talk to Sir Redsick. Maybe eat something first. Who knows? You say God, Henry? I feel quite hungry. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? And what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. That's right. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh man, I really a beggar camp here. Uh, Sir Radzik, that's that way. Poke our horse here, here somewhere. Let's do it. Scene. Trigger. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. 
I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. Um, he, they are in, in... He asked me to deliver it visible. to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attack me and stole well, me. Well, our stealth skill is apparently godlike. How about that? And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. I feel quite hungry. So we will eat. Janek and Jaroslav. Uh, I'll be with you, you the guys that went in the castle keep. And another thing. How are the Scalit's refugees faring? Oh, me and the rest of Sir Radzik's men are alright. We live at the castle and we've got everything we need. But the others are just making it day to day. I mean, they've lost everything. It's charity and arms for them and the locals ain't as generous as they was. God knows how much longer we'll be stuck here. It ain't good. How do you like the new castle? It's a fine place. About the same size as Scalit's castle. Sir Hanush don't mind lending it to Sir Radzi, because he's got an even bigger one at the other end of town. Have you ever seen a town with two castles before? Have you heard anything about those savages who attacked us? I heard they're called Cubans. Sigismund brought them here from Hungary. By all accounts, we got off lightly. They say, in other places, they impaled people on spikes, skinned them alive, and even worse, fucking heathen swine. How do you like Ratai? Uh, it's well fortified and well situated. And they won't get us as easy here as they did in Scalitz. And there's everything a man could want. Armourer, swordsmith, apothecary, taverns. It could have turned out a lot worse. What about our Sir Radzig? Sir Hanush gave him the whole of Perkstein for his use. He seems to be bearing up well considering all he's lost. Thanks. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting what to get hungry. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed, but Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial Crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the King neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. 
That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir.
Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Hey! We have a game save. So that's an M. Train hard and fight AC. Our quest is go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. That is here. We will take our horsey and go to Captain Bernard. Oi! <laughs> Quite fast this. And don't over the run. Don't run over the chickens. It will be hell in a handbasket. That's the case. At least in Skyrim. But we're not playing Skyrim, so that's good. It's really good that we got to keep our first horse. And I'll say it's quite some time. The training grounds is here. Let's get off our horsey. And since he was in the castle with us, I don't think he's close, so. Maybe we will wait. Yeah, let's wait. And he is there, I think. Yeah, good. I'll be with you. And I ask first. Can I ask, what kind of a lord is Sir Hamish? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzik seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young Lord spends most of his time making merry, but he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Matai? Till Sigismund came, and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick and you lot can clear off. It doesn't really like us. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Yeah, really like us. <laughs> Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cubans or Kipchaks. Our Lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. A herdsman, an excellent horseman, and barbarians too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy, Sir Radzik said. Only me. I'm not a boy. Sure. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then. It's that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Well, I know a few things already, so... My father that. was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine, we'll try something more advanced then. Yep. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Free fight, show what you learned so far. Oh. 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 He got me there. Yeah. 
Generate our stamina. Fine enough. But you're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Okay. Yeah, there. Not that. Not that. Nice. Not. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Yeah. 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 All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Okay. No, not uh -huh. like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. And now. Alright, the green shield in the Very middle. Very good. Oh, too soon. There you got it. Nice. I mean leveling up defense and sword and whatnot as well as even greater greater. Nice. Nice. Perform the perfect block. And booyah. Try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. Okay. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Yes. It is still All in right. slow mode. <laughs> and you wanted to teach me in fast pace. Yeah, sure. All right. And come on. Not bad. Well done. So that's good, that's costing no stamina as we perform it, so really good. Alright! Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train! Let's go! Oh, there you have it. Yes! Come on! And you didn't think I could do this? Yeah, sure. Just eye on the tiger. Oh, oh. There you have it. Wait a while, Henry. All right. Hello, sir. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you were entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? No, not Sir really. Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. I will not train archery. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want it. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Okay. You dodge out of the way then. Let's go! Mm. Alright, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Ow! Not like that. Okay. Well done. 
uh, when he is okay. Again. He's attacking from the left. Right, so I mean. Very good. Wrong. Again. Oh. <laughs> Wrong. Damn it. Let's do this. Oh. Nice. But now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Um. Okay. Nice. Ah, that's it. Good. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike. I don't have time to react. All right. No, not like that. Okay, so hold and change the sounds. wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. We will practice. Don't leave yet. The Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come all right. You. Well, we will take our horsey and you shall go. We train with sword fighting in the heavy rain with Captain Bernard. And you don't have a horse and I have. <laughs> How does that make you feel, huh? Yeah, I'm loving this. And this was a huge castle. Just right outside of town as well. Is this a cross? Installation cross. This here's the tavern. It's good to know. So this is the archery range. We shall unmount from the horse right under the bridge so it doesn't get all that wet another game save let's see then take this bow go and stand in position over there and we can start and another thing put on this arm guard without it you could flay your forearm with a bowstring so be sure to wear it thank you captain Save the thanks and get in position. Bam braces. Exactly the weapon of choice of a knife, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in the fall. You and far what there, is happening? Like a piece of firewood. Why am I There's the moving? target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on I the bow. can't. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the What is going on? <laughs> if we mount this, then. 
shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Are you serious? Yeah, well, Captain Bernard, I am in a pickle here. I can't stop moving. <laughs> All right, I will load. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. Yeah. The bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of the night. This works. In very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in fraud. You wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. <laughs> but enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movement. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. All one movement. Arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. All right. Oh, uh, that's. That flew Ooh, I hit it. For a while. No nonsense. Yeah, let's. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Stop laughing, Hans. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. Oh. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Severno. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The brother who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good, then let's get to it. <laughs> All right. Good luck, Henry. <laughs> oh. Come on. Yes, that's it. Why? This is not good. A little bit more. Why? Yes, that's good. Come on. Oh, so close. We really need a full side there. Oh, we got one. 11. Can he? I think he... No, he will not. We will win. Okay, so since we were first, we got three extra points, and yet... Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand, ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. Yeah, so blame really on that, huh? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight in the arena? If you like. So Hans, is this necessary? Johannes has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to him. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's right. Ah! <laughs> 
Ale to prdile. That's all right. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. All right. You can. Come on. You can still yield. <laughs> you will yield, Sir Hans. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it already. Sword fight. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you alright, sure. sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. Best years are behind it anyway. A bones hunting bow. Let me talk to you. Okay. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. <laughs> he should now challenge me. He shouldn't have challenged me. <laughs> Careful. You might be under Sir Radzik's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen too. Now go to the Rad House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Okay. Rad House. Oh, our horse hidden. No crouching. Need a mount. Oh. What are we going to do at the bailiffs, I wonder? We shall see pretty soon. It's here, somewhere. No, uh, almost. Yeah. I feel quite hungry. Pick today to put a smile on your face. You know what? Exit here. Are you the bailiff? 
Oh, you're the god. Wait, this is the way they come. Here. Oh, that's the armorer. It's good to know. Up here, then, maybe. I think that showed up over our head. Yeah. Where are you? Bailiff. God be with you. You. Join the bailiff's service and teach me to feed something going. Well, let's talk about Ratai. What kind of governor is Sir Hanush? Young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanush is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes and the countryside ain't safe, but they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers, and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that, but them barbarians take pleasure in it. Who can teach me to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. All right. Sword quest. Right, hey. Join the bailiff's service. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little. And as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can rely you can on count me. Count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Uh, the captain not like. Sweat. I was quiet and feel. The hand challenged me. He trained me, and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Pretty Groschen. 70, I mean. <laughs> That's the Swedish kicking in. <laughs> and this star, what does that mean? Is something going on here? Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Okay, so that is... If you need some gossip, I think, maybe. I love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yes, Henry, you're always hungry. We gotta save and pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory. Okay. So we got a couple of new quests. Keeping the peace optional. Pick up your kit in the lower room. Okay. Join Nightingale on patrol between 11 and 9. What is it now? Okay, we can do that. We got Vengeance and the Might in the Sword. Ushits, by the by, where is that? Okay, so that's Ushits. Quite near Tomberg. Should be interesting. But for now, it is keeping the peace. So A and B. Armory, Nightingale on patrol. But yeah, I think that is enough for this episode. So next episode we will go and talk with uh, Nightingale and patrol with him. And we'll pick up that armor first, our kit I mean. And we will explore Ratai in the next episode. But for now we have trained with Captain Bernard. We've beaten Capon in a bow and a sword 
challenge. You will, I mean. Uh, that's really nice. A really great game. I must tell you that every episode, apparently, but it really is. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I am going to see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support me by giving a like, comment, share, and subscribe, along with clicking the notification bell to get all the latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I really appreciate it. I am Waysero and I'll see you next time.